So a few words about the technical background. Um, this uh, sequencer needs a rewire host to sync to and in my case it is um, Ableton Live and you get here remote control with uh, play, stop and a BPM slider and you see the bars here. Um, the heart of the sequ uh, sequencer is done in Max 5. Um, uh, this is better for note triggering for more accurate timing. But you can use that with uh, the free Max runtime, so you don't need to buy Max. Um, yeah, I guess most of the functions you've seen uh, through the video. It's just a MIDI sequencer. Whatever you do with that uh, data is up to you. It's sought for drum triggering. So the notes, here you get to the notes patch for drums would probably be like that. But you can also use it um, on different MIDI channels, um, maybe on MIDI channel 4 I've got a synth and then you can change the notes. And by playing notes this um, slider for transposing is uh, very nice. Um, here you get volume um, and note length um, and here you get always a range for the outcome of uh, the whole bars. Um, the note length is done in milliseconds. Um, yeah. Um, that clear button uh, clears out all the, the matrix and also um, nearly nearly everything. But if you don't like that behavior, you can change it inside the Lima because this is done in a little script um, which you find inside that clear button. Also that button here below. Um, yeah, I guess uh, that's all I wanted to say. Um, thank you for watching. Have fun while playing um, with that sequencer and have a nice day.